my why is I, I just wanted to write what I wanted to read and I wanted to prove myself that I could do it. This is so interesting. So you were not chasing Beverly. Beverly was chasing you. <laughs> yeah. This is a story by itself. We can make a movie out of this. Ashlyn Cubison and her husband are the owners of Cubison Enterprises, Inc. She's an author, entrepreneur, real estate broker, and constant dreamer. Her mission to uplift, inspire, and help other women entrepreneurs to be daring and share their talents with the world. Time to find out more about Ashlyn Cubison on the Entrepreneurial Vibration Show with Sandy V. Terry. One of the things that you actually shared with me is it was that um, you, when you talk to other entrepreneurs, you know, how to become an, an entrepreneur is something that you um, give to them as advice and you use the word start. Mm -hmm. So why don't you talk to us, what does start mean? So start is like an acronym that I created and it's first about support others, technology, authenticity, research thoroughly, and then take action. And that's what I kept telling these women that I was talking to is all these things they needed to do. And I was really falling short on the last one. I wasn't mm -hmm. taking action. Uh-huh. Okay. So you were basically, you created that acronym. You were helping other entrepreneurs with this acronym, but you yourself were not actually taking that action. And that was the breakthrough moment for yourself when you said, that's it. I am taking action. I am actually going to go into publish this book. Yes. Pretty much. Right. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> all right. So you've been supporting others all along, right? Mm -hmm. And um, now one of the things that you also shared with me, it was about quality content. And I guess your book, Chasing Beverly, is about content, is you created content. So why don't you talk to us about what do you mean with quality content? So I think it differs for everybody, but it's really about talking to your audience. You know, you really have to put yourself a little bit on the back burner and you need to connect with whoever you're trying to reach because that's who's important in any business you have. So producing things that are going to relate to them and that, you know, is quality, that it's not some crummy picture you took in your bathroom, or it's not just three sentences with 50,000 emojis on it. It's really giving it your best shot and taking time to produce what you know your audience needs to hear. Right. So do you feel like going through this process in this past two to three years as you were writing the book and publishing the book has taught you how to actually connect with your audience in that way? I think a lot better. I, I personally have grown with social media. I was one of those people who didn't produce the best stuff. I kind of used social media as a dumping ground for whatever was happening in my life. And it's still good. You still want people to see who you are, but I mm -hmm. changed my way of thinking definitely in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I see. So, um, tell us a little more about your entrepreneurial journey. Like what is next for you. I know you're publishing the book and it's coming mm -hmm. out on September 29th. Mm -hmm. um, but what is next for Ashley? So it's a series. So next is oh, the wow. next book. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> that's news to me. <laughs> and so that's what I'm kind of working on right now. Um, I, I've always been just a little bit of a dreamer and I want to do so much, but I know time, you know, it's so precious and I really have to manage it the best I can. But I also want to branch, branch out into um, nonfiction and kind of sharing my journey of how this happened. And hopefully I will connect with other people either who have had low self-esteem or who have just needed that extra push to move forward. So that's definitely on the horizon. I just don't know mm -hmm. how far out. Beautiful. It will come along and believe me, there will be people that will reach out and admire you for what you're doing and that you're finally being vocal about it. You know, um, definitely, definitely. I see some opportunities there. So, all right. Um, so if there was any advice that you could give to other entrepreneurs, if you had a room full of entrepreneurs in front of you, what would you say to them? 
So my first thing would probably not be what others are expecting, but I think support others. Everything that I've ever done, I've been successful because of the relationships I've made with other people. And I think that if you genuinely care about others and you support them for no reason, but because you care about them or you appreciate what they do, it's amazing what kind of connection you make with people and that they will down the line support you or you still feel good because you got to support someone else. So number one is definitely support others. I think you have to stay up on technology. You know, it's kind of my start <laughs> motto. It's the whole thing. I mean, it's really what I, I believe in and what I've always tried to do in all of my businesses. That is so smart. Yeah, it's a smart. Start with the smart. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> yes. Now, um, tell me why. I always ask this question. Why did you decide to write a book? Why did I decide to write the book? Ooh, um, I, I wish I had a better why other than it just wouldn't leave me alone. I started thinking about it and it just, I was getting obsessive. I tend to get obsessive when I'm really passionate about something. And I just, I felt like all this energy was pent up inside me and I wasn't doing anything with it. And the story kept building. And it was kind of a story that I would want to read as a reader. And because it has some sport elements in it, and there aren't too many that I found that I connect with. So my why is I, I just wanted to write what I wanted to read, and I wanted to prove myself that I could do it. This is so interesting. So you were not chasing Beverly. Beverly was chasing you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, this is a story by itself. We can make a movie out of this. <laughs> oh goodness. Yes, yes, this is so good. All right, my dear. We made it here to the end of the show. Thank you so much for joining me. This has been a pleasure. I absolutely love your personality. And from the moment that I met you, I remember we had our first call. Thank you so much. And uh, where can people find you? Um, you can find me on Instagram. That's my favorite social media outlets or Pinterest, or you can go to my website. What is your website? It's ashlandcubison.com. Perfect. Thank you so very much Thank for joining me. And I so wish you so much success. So the book is coming out on September 29th. And I, my guess is that it's going to be available on Amazon, right? Yeah. Amazon, barnesandnoble.com, pretty much everywhere books are sold online. If you are in the San Diego area, I'm having a book launch on October 6th and you're welcome to come. Yes. You definitely <laughs> want an autograph there. You never know. This girl is going to become famous. So go for it. <laughs> thank you, Sandy. <laughs> oh, thank you. It is a pleasure always talking to you. So uh, best of luck with the launch. Thank you. All right. Bye. Bye. Now, we would love to hear from you. Tell us on the comments below. Was this advice helpful to you today? And how can you put some of what you learn into practice right away to start to see a difference in your entrepreneurial journey? Also, don't forget, if you found this podcast helpful, make sure to subscribe, share with your friends, and hit the like button so we know to make more podcasts like this one.